In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to train your brain to do the thing you don't feel like doing. See, I recently hired a trainer to work on calisthenics workouts, which is purely body weight workout. And the reason I hired a trainer is because I wanna be lean, I wanna be ripped, and I wanna be as healthy as possible and be light and flexible and have good mobility. And I realized that on my own, I couldn't do it. And so a trainer is helping me and I just left the gym. And I asked him, why is this stuff so hard? He has me doing bear crawls. He has me doing all kinds of crazy workouts like with my body. Um, and it's been really difficult, like crazy kind of push-ups and all kinds of lunges and squats. And he said, it's difficult because your muscle's not developed yet. And your muscle is developed in response to needing to adapt to having weight put on it. In other words, you get sore when you put weight on and you gradually build muscle because your body is adapting to needing to be stronger to handle the weight. So if you see someone who's a mover or who handles heavy equipment or you know whatever they have to do um, to be able to do their job, that's manual labor, they're gonna be naturally strong because their body adapted to the job, not necessarily from working out. But if you're going to the gym, regularly and doing weights or any kind of weight training, your body is gonna build muscle, muscle to adapt. Well, it's the same exact thing with your brain. You see, neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to form new neural pathways and activate synapses in the brain in response to areas of the brain that aren't being used. And so the reason people it's so hard to do hard work, especially in sales. When I say hard work, I mean planning. I mean preparing a point of view. I mean writing a detailed email to an executive. I mean preparing a deep proposal or business case. I'm talking about work that requires delayed gratification. The reason it's so hard to do that is because that activity, future planning, is occurring in the prefrontal cortex of the brain. The same place where emotional regulation occurs, problem solving occurs, storytelling occurs. That area, if it's not used, it will atrophy. And if it is used, it will grow and form new neural pathways. That's the beauty, just like muscle on your body, your brain can form new neural pathways, which essentially builds muscle in the in the key areas. Now, Here's the crazy thing about this, okay? Most people don't build those because they are activating and living the brain in a different area called the pleasure center, which is the nucleus accumbens or the ventral tegmental area. I'm glad I got that right. It's basically where dopamine is released. This is the center of your brain that gives you immediate gratification. So anytime you clear off your email or you do busy work or you scroll social media, or you look at the news, or you check your stocks, or you give in to distractions, check your phone, text, any email, anything that immediately gives you immediate gratification, which is distractions or busy work, or the feeling of getting little things done, but not the deep work, you are giving yourself a dopamine spike. And so what happens when you do that is the pleasure center is always being activated. Well, what happens in the brain when the pleasure center is not activated and the prefrontal cortex needs to be? Well, your brain is always trying to have homeostasis, meaning equality. So if you're always hitting the dopamine center, that means that you're giving a lot of pleasure to yourself. And when you're trying to work on the prefrontal cortex by doing future planning and deep work, it feels much more painful because it's atrophy. Just like in the gym, it feels really painful for me to do a bear claw because I haven't developed those muscles. It feels painful for me to do a pull up because I haven't developed those muscles. It feels painful for me to hang for a while because those muscles aren't developed. But once you regularly work and activate the prefrontal cortex, new neural pathways form. And just like building muscle, you actually crave it, you desire it. So now I'm craving doing deep work. I'm craving updating PowerPoints. I'm craving, as crazy as it sounds, as someone with ADHD, I'm craving building new content. I'm craving making videos. I'm craving 
actually working on my business. I want to because that part of my brain is actually seeking exercise. Just like you crave going to the gym if you work out a lot or you crave running if you're a runner, right? Because that part of your brain is being used and if it doesn't get used, it wants to be used. So if you want to exercise your prefrontal cortex, cortex, a simple thing you can do to exercise and get good at future planning for 21 days, simple, simple, is take an index card and write down one, if you're really, really highly sensitive to this and everything feels really hard, just start with one. But if it's not that hard, write down two or three. One, two, or three. It's up to you. You choose things that you need to do that day that are critical to do, that are deep work, that are the hard work, not busy work, but what's the one thing that's going to help your business today that you need to do? And do that today and do it for 21 days straight and develop a new habit. Take out an index card at the beginning of each day, buy a little stack and write one thing you need to do. And if you do it straight for a week, then do, do it to two things the next day and then three things. That will exercise your prefrontal cortex in planning the day. Planning the day and planning the day. Just one thing. Just one thing you need to do. Well, that compounds and stacks 21 days straight. You just got a lot of really important, good, deep work done. So that's a simple exercise of just training your prefrontal cortex to do planning for the future. Okay, that's all I got today. I'm Ian Koniak, and I will see you guys next week.